Good day, YouTube! TitsBeerBomb420 here with another TitsBeerBomb420 Beer Review! Uh, I'm just happy and excited about trying this one out. Tis, uh, supposedly, it, like it used to be called Vanilla Porter, but there's another name to it now since the days of it being called Vanilla Porter. Um, we have a box string brewery beer here. Apparently they're from since 2004, supposedly. Um, it's a UK beer. Um, winner, best of the festival in 2009. Oh, sorry, winner beer of the festival 2009. Um, it won gold in the Porter and Stouts category in 2009. And it came first place at beer of the festivals in 2009. Some some beer festival, I guess. Um, in 2010, under this special beers category, it got the bronze award. And apparently the same thing again in 2011. Um, there's this story on here about like a ship and how parts of it got blown off or something. And... That's how this beer came to be created or something. So blah, blah, blah. <sighs> Guess it's not going to show up the greatest, but you can pause that and read it if you want. Um, <clears throat> but what I'll tell you is it's a dark brown porter contrasting the bitterness of roasted malt or roasted barley and malts with a subtle vanilla sweetness. Now, I don't find malts to ever be bitter, so what the hell's up with that? Um, it's water, malt, and hops. Um, anywho, they're out in like a Wiltshire part of the UK, and um, maybe the strongest uh, UK beer I've ever had was maybe like six point something, but normally their beers just seem to be a lot lower in percentage. But hey. It works with some of those beers because with them, some, some of the UK beers are really good. Oh, yeah. And then some are fine, and then some just really suck. But, anyways, this uh, funnel blower, as it's called, engineered by hand. So, today we have Box Stream Brewery Funnel Blower, used to be known as a vanilla porter. It's at 4.5%. And the day I saw it in the store, I was just like, I'm definitely getting this porter and not passing up on it. Because if I could be reviewing way more porters and like stouts and things like that for y'all, doppel box and whatever, I fucking definitely would. Those are kind of my thing. What a bummer. They should have put their little like stupid hat that's got like steam kind of coming out of it. You see that? They should have put that on the cap. Because the cap, as you see inside, there's black. It's nothing. So whatever. Holy mother of pearls. Smells really good. <laughs> I'm like, I don't even know what word to use there. Oh my yes, the smells that you definitely want out of a porter with the vanilla added. Oh shit. Do, 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 do. Porter, porter, porter. Kind of a weird name, but anywho. So it is. But, uh, yeah. Ooh, the head's getting a bit bigger. Um, wow. To the white I am on, I can see kind of in the middle redness. Oh, I can't even see in it to even tell you that there's carbonation, but the middle's got some redness. Kind of like a dark brown, yeah. To the rest of it on the left and right. To the camera, it's looking black, you know. Um, thick to, uh, two finger head, quarter style. Kind of look, I guess you could say. Uh, a little cola looking like. <sighs> I did watch a review video on it where it looked jet black and looked a lot better than it looks here, but this does look fucking nice, dark brown with some red to the light in the middle. And oh, yeah, what you want out of a porter? There's like, uh, it's got kind of like that uh, cherry kind of like smell. It's got, um, Yeah, you can pick up some chocolate and coffee a bit. Oh yeah, definitely. 
Yeah, there's some vanilla in there. And just it's all around. Fuck yeah, it smells. So let's dive in. It smells great. Ooh, I'm excited. It wasn't one, like, I heard something about this beer before, like the name or whatever, but I might have been confused with maybe thinking it was something to steam this or whatever. And I didn't know to expect the finest when I did it, just when I found it on the shelves. Um, good, but I expect this to be way more fantastic from the smells and what I've been hearing lately. I don't know if it has to do with the amount of time it was rage for, so I'm saying I don't know if the temperature is correct for it or not. I think I'm going to have to let some of this warm up a bit to maybe taste the flavors more, but it's got like your uh, roastedness of the barley. It's got lots of like chocolate taste, a little bit of coffee taste. Um, yeah, I guess at some point in the milk I do taste little bits of vanilla, I guess. But I'm not going to say it's all bitter or sour or sweet or anything. But yeah, it's definitely the stuff you want from a porter. Just I think my uh, temperature or whatever it is at the moment, I think it needs to be a little warmer. So maybe when that happens, I might put some stuff in the description if there's differences and I feel like it. But yeah. Roasted malt. Chocolate. Little bits of roasted coffee, kind of. Little bits of vanilla in there at times to balance it all out. Um, I can't recall every single porter I've ever had, but this may not be the best one I've ever had. So, I mean, yeah, man. Uh, can't give it as high of a mark as some people would give it, I don't think. It's got some nice lacing, I guess. Smell wise, it's like at least a seven, if not more. Looking at it, it's like a probably a seven as well, as if it were less brown and more just jet black. And fuck yeah, right? That'd be like the most awesome beer to look at. Jet black on the way. Or like a pumpkin or something, but anyways, um, taste wise, though, uh, I'm thinking if it was a little warmer, I'd probably go with an even higher rate because this is fucking great. Smooth, velvety, chocolate. Not a lot of coffee, but I guess some in there because of the roasted barley and what have you. And it's not hardcore to vanilla. It just, I guess sometimes they get a smooth little sweet vanilla or sour vanilla or something. Like, it just, if you're thinking, oh, hardcore vanilla, you just don't get hardcore vanilla. Maybe it warms up. But, probably a higher rating when it warms up, but I'm going to go. I guess a little, oh no, the smell is way better than the taste, obviously. So why would it go a slightly little higher? I guess I've already rated it. I was going to go a tad bit higher and say a 725, but good fucking porter, but I'm only going to get a 7 out of 10, thank you.